Hey, good afternoon, everyone. I am so excited to be back on Facebook Live. Um, you know, life just throws you curveballs once in a while, doesn't it? You know, some things have happened in my uh, with my family that I needed to take care of uh, back in Nebraska, and uh, just you know, a lot of things are happening, and I just took a break. So anyway, thanks you guys for being here and coming on. Hey, Dave, good to see you. Awesome. Thanks for being here. So anyway, oh my gosh, we got some people coming on. Great, great, great. So I am back and I promise to do the best I can to get some Facebook Lives going every day again. Um, I had to go back to Nebraska to help out with my dad. And next week I will be in the Santa Clarita area. If any of you guys are going to be around, I'm doing a workshop in Chatsworth on Tuesday. And I would love to meet up with you or see how we can uh, connect in some way since I'll be down there next week helping another friend who is uh, not doing well. So today you saw my topic, which is quit, okay? Quit, and I don't mean quit, quit, just quit whatever you're doing unless it's not the right thing for you. So I'm gonna steal these five, let's see, yeah, five things, six things that um, I want you to quit doing, <laughs> okay? I want you to quit doing. If you wanna be successful in your business, if you want to get to where you wanna be in your life, in your personal life, in your business or whatever, I'm just telling you right now, life is really short and there's some things that you need to quit doing. And I'm actually stealing this from a mentor of mine. Uh, he just did a, a call last night and it was just amazing and I just finished listening to it again. So his name is Jordan Adler, by the way. Um, when I'm done, I will post links to some books that he's written that will really blow your mind. They're really, really good. So these are really great things to stop to, for you to, to quit doing, okay, if you want to be successful in your life and especially in your business, okay? You know, mostly I'm talking about business, so here we go. Are you ready? All right, number one, and I really agree with this. I completely agree with this. Quit watching TV, all right? Yes, I said it. Quit watching TV. I cannot remember right now what the statistics are of the average number of hours that people watch TV every day, but I'm telling you, if you would take that out, first of all, it's mostly negative stuff. Um, you know, especially the news, please, for God's sakes, don't watch the news when you first get up in the morning or when you go to bed at night. The last thing you want to do is put negative stuff in your head before you go to sleep at night or before you start your day. But really, quit watching TV, okay? I admit I have a couple of shows that I like to watch, but you know what I do? I just go online and I and I put it on in the background while I'm still working. So I, I quit watching TV. It's just there's not a lot of things in there. And if you would take take out those hours, at least most of the hours that you're taking watching TV, I bet you could get a lot more done. Okay, so number two. <sighs> quit complaining. Stop complaining. First of all, nobody wants to hear it. They don't. No one wants to be around a complainer. Do you? Do you like sitting around listening to someone complain about things? You know what? It does absolutely nothing for you in your head or for the person that you're talking to. Um, just and don't even complain in your head <laughs> because that like goes into your subconscious and it just it just brings you down. It causes illness. It causes all kinds of crap. It's stress. So stop complaining. It drives people away from you. And you know, I was going through a, a pretty crappy thing the last couple of years. Um, I will tell the story eventually, but I found myself once in a while, I'd be talking to someone, especially to someone I knew, and I, was, I would complain about it. I found myself talking negatively about it and complaining. And you know what would happen? I noticed people's faces. I noticed what they were doing, and I noticed how it felt inside my body. And you know what? It's not good. So stop complaining. Just stop it. And when, you know, someone told me, I think the other day I was reading a book and it's just tell yourself when you get in those, in those thoughts or, or those words come out of your mouth, just apologize yourself. I'm really sorry that that thought came into my mind. I'm going to just, you know, let it go. <laughs> okay. Number three, quit beating yourself up. Okay. We all screw up once in a while. We all make mistakes. Just don't beat yourself up about it, okay? Don't beat yourself up. Just get past it. It is in the past. Let it go. Um, 
I'm going to go off on a little, little tiny bit of a tangent, but I'm telling you, this thing that I was going through the last couple of years, it was, I started really beating myself up. I was constantly just thinking how stupid I was to have made this certain decision and let this situation happen. And I blamed myself and I beat the shit out of me. Sorry, I really did. And you know what happened? The craziest thing happened. When I finally let it go, I finally said, I'm done. It's going away. I'm not going to think about it. And I'm going to take that as a positive thing that happened in my life that taught me a lesson. And I'm telling you guys, the second, I swear to God, the second I said, I actually really let it go and I stopped beating myself up and I stopped saying how stupid I was or calling myself names or whatever I did wrong. Oh my gosh, the opportunities that came into my life, it was crazy. It was like I was holding this space inside of me that was holding on to something. And when I let it out, I made space for other things. And all this positive stuff started coming my way. So stop beating yourself up. Quit it. Okay. Number five, uh, quit quitting. <laughs> quit quitting. Okay. If you have doubts about something, let's say you start something, you have this business, and then you start doubting yourself, and you just decide you're going to quit. This happens with people, a lot of people in network marketing type businesses, those kind of businesses that um, they're just, or just part-time kind of things. You get into something and then if things don't work out right away or you start doubting your yourself, you just go, you know, I'm just going to quit. I'm going to find something else. So quit quitting, you know, like give it a chance, talk to someone, get a coach, whatever you need to do to get past the doubt in your, in your head. And a lot of times that kind of thing, these negative things and these doubts, stem from something in the past. So you want to try to figure out a way to get past that. I have a friend, I have several friends that do um, NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and one of the, th it's just an amazing thing that you can do. You can have a breakthrough type session with someone. I have my friend Susan Shepard. I can, if you want her um, information, make sure you let me know. She does break through sessions that will go back, will help you go back and figure out what that block is that keeps bringing those doubts and stopping you when you start getting to a certain point. So quit quitting. And uh, you know what, it, actually those are the five, but here's the bottom line with all of them. We're gonna all have good days and we're all gonna have bad days, always. It's never, you're never, never gonna have a, a, a bad day. You're just not. And you know what's funny is outside right now, I'm in Sebastopol, uh, California. It started raining this week. And I was, <laughs> it was so funny because yesterday morning I had a meeting and it would rain. It was pouring rain all night. It was pouring rain when I woke up in the morning and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to cancel this, this thing. It's just raining and I don't want to really drive in this thing, um, in this weather. And it's crazy because all of a sudden the clouds sort of parted and the rain stopped. So I drove to my appointment. And I just went, oh, my God, it was the most beautiful sky, the most beautiful clouds. It was just awesome. So the bottom line is this. We have to go through bad stuff. We have to go through those storms, those rainstorms, in order for us to come out and see beautiful things and have beautiful things happen to us. So you're going to have good days and bad days. On the bad days, just in your head, go, oh, my gosh, this means something really awesome is coming, and stay positive. So there's my uh, five tips on what you need to quit. And I hope you're having an awesome day. And let me know if you want to chat some more. And by the way, if you're in the Santa Clarita area next week, um, I would love to chat with you. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.